infection epidemic was because of social conditions. And he said, this is what happens when a few, few people control the wealth and the others are living in misery. He said this in mid 19th century. And he was criticized and he was said, he was told, that, well, this is politics, not medicine. And he said that politics is just medicine continued on a higher level. That's what he's, that was his retort. Now come to COVID. Wow. Take something like the, the COVID epidemic and who it strikes and so on. And then consider the public response. Consider how amazingly, I mean, I know everybody blew the original response. Nobody quite responded to it the way they might have had they had more knowledge. But basically, society mobilized, governments mobilized, science was all of a sudden brought to the fore. Scientists became our mentors and our leaders. And within an astonishingly short period of time, contrary to all expectations, they've developed a vaccine, which is now preventing a lot of disease, a lot of death. And the world is gradually, to judge by Canada at least, and Britain is getting back to, oh, you know, functionality. Now, when you look, look at the number of people who die every year of COVID, many more die of air pollution. Many more die of tobacco smoke. Many more die of diseases related to obesity and so on. Many more in Vancouver have died of overdoses than have died of COVID. Where's the mobilization? Where's the public excitement? Where's the gathering of governmental resources? Where's the sense of urgency? And the difference was, I've been thinking about this, what's the difference? COVID threatened the economy, whereas pollution does not. Hmm. COVID threatens the economy, whereas tobacco smoking makes profits for people. In other words, wow. the, the, the driving motive is not human suffering, but profit or loss, which is the fundamental motive value of this particular society. That's why I call it a toxic culture.